Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to open these up on camera because I have no idea what I'm doing and I've heard of these every single year but have never like known a place of where to get them. Like I didn't know where you could get these. These are like the angel, like the Christmas angels or like an angel gift or something like that where you get a kid and then they have a list of things that they want on there and you get to pick them out Christmas presents and I'm not sure how this works. I haven't opened them yet. Today is Monday. We got them yesterday on Sunday at our church and we have one boy and two girls and I am like, once I saw these, I wanted to grab every single one of them because I think it's so cute. We practically did. I know. There was only four left and we grabbed three of them. And my mom grabbed the other one. But there's a six-year-old girl who wants dress-up clothes, jewelry, and nail polish. And when I read this, I was like, this is literally like... And I don't know. It just reminds me of my girls and what they would be into. And her favorite color is pink. And then there's another five-year-old girl who wants to do... Wants anything to do with ballet or dancing. Again, just like my girls. And... Her favorite colors are rainbow colors, which is like, ugh, just like, so cute. I had to grab both of those, and then I grabbed a little three-year-old boy whose favorite color is green and wants Paw Patrol or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. So I couldn't just, you know, cater to the girls, but we had to grab a little boy in there too. I don't know how this works or where we drop off the gifts. Yeah, we probably should have maybe figured that out. I'm opening it up right now. Please bring wrapped gifts with the coating stickers attached. Where? Oh, oh these are right here? Oh, yeah, because that's her name. That's her name. Okay. Right that's the kid's um, name. To the angel table near the connect center. Okay. Okay, so that's exactly where we, where we got those things. Remember there was present, wrapped presents there? Okay. So we just bring it back there. Return by the December, gift by December 11th. That's coming up. So, yeah, we should probably, we should probably do that soon. Because we do have all that. the chaos of Avery's birthday. Okay, we're at Target. I just gave the girls a pep talk the whole way here about what we're doing, what this means, what these little girls want, and what the little boy wants. And even when I said that this little boy wants Paw Patrol, they were like, oh, Paw Patrol! Like, they are just so excited. But I'm hoping, since Avery's almost four in like two weeks, and Ella is five and a half, that hopefully they get the idea that we're not shopping for them, we're shopping for other kids, and they want to help me wrap them up. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yes, it is so bright. The sun is like beaming into my face, but we are here at Target. I think Target would be a good place to find some gifts. Huh, RC? Are you ready to go get some Christmas presents? This is for the little girl who wants dress up and jewelry. It has like a whole fashion kit. That's perfect. Like headbands, necklaces, rings, glasses. I love that. What is it, a boa? Yeah, you don't know what a boa is? I, I, you didn't, I didn't have any that, sisters. I didn't know that that's what it was called. I didn't know like what it was. <laughs> okay. okay, do you think we should do white tights or the pink tights? I think match it, right? Don't you think? Oh, what does her doll have? Mommy. Pink. Pink and pink. We should do Look, that. that. This is actually so cute. I know it is. Like getting a doll and then like This has actually been really fun. No, this is really fun. I love the girls are having so fun. You know, actually they're doing a lot better than I thought. Oh yeah. What? You like? Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Slippers? Oh my gosh. Oh. I Did you tell Santa that you wanted slippers? We can, maybe we can put them on your Christmas list. Yeah, maybe we'll put them on your Christmas list. Whoa. Yeah. What is it? Is that pink sparkles? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh my God. Oh, that one's pretty too. Mama. Yes. Candy. No, you do not need candy. Candy. No, you don't need candy. I'm teddy bear. I want... Ah. No, no more candy. So we went out to dinner. We went to Texas Roadhouse tonight, and it was a very chaotic <laughs> moment, as Daddy! you can tell Daddy! right now. I think Addie needs to go to bed. Addie, are you ready to go night night? No. Well, I think you need to go to bed. No. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna lick you. 
Oh, there's a flag, another flag. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, we went out to dinner to Texas Roadhouse. And and we it was a very chaotic time. Addie just wants me to lick her toes. And then we uh, came home and we placed sports bets on the way home for the Vikings Bears game. And it's a terrible game. It's almost halftime and it's literally 3 0. It is a terrible game. They keep throwing interceptions. Mommy, Daddy. Oh my God. TJ Hawkinson, right here. Oh my God, Katie. TJ Hawkinson? No! No! <laughs> this play, that play sums up this game. What in the world is going on? He was falling out. He just <laughs> okay. We are going to wrap up the gifts that we got for our little Christmas angels. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because at church there's a huge bin that you put everything in and with us buying a few different things for them I'm worried that they're gonna get mixed up so I'm thinking that I'm gonna wrap the smaller things individually and then kind of somehow stick it to the inside of this so that when he opens up this whole thing there's two more little presents inside that way it all stays Together. What do you think of that idea, Ella? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. So we need to wrap up these ones first. These little Paw Patrol ones here. Do, do you want to scoot this towards you? Zuma? Who's Zuma? Zuma is the brown puppy and he breathes of uh, he breathes water. Really? No. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Bye. Okay. Can you help me, like, can you tear can some you? tape for me? Can I help you tie? Yep, you guys are gonna... Can you tape? Yep, you're gonna help me tear tape. It's right there. Oh, 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 da, 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 oh, 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 da, 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 oh, 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 da, 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 making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people please. But this is my favorite holiday. I put um both of the gifts right here, and I just like taped them into it so it doesn't move. And now we're gonna wrap the whole thing up so that nothing gets lost. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh I am on the way to pick up our Christmas lunch. Actually, and I'm so excited. So I'm getting some food right now because it's lunch time. Any sauce? Thank you. No, thank you. But I am so unbelievably excited. It is a very, very exclusive drop. It's going to be even more exclusive than our first drop. Um, if you guys have been watching us for a while, you guys know that like our first Cozy Sun launch was around 700 items. Our second Cozy Sun launch was around 3,000 items. And now this launch is going to be, I think it's just over 300. So it's going to be very limited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really? Yes, you too. It's gonna be extremely limited, and um, I don't know how fast we're gonna sell out because last time we sold out in like six hours, I think it was. It might even be three hours. I don't remember how fast we sold out the first launch. Anyways, with that being said, all I know is it's gonna go extremely fast. So um, last time I actually had to like rent a U-Haul in order to pick up the clothes, um, but this time I can just use the truck because like I said, it's not very many items in itself. Our last launch, I feel like we got so caught up in like the, we had so many items, like 3,000 items, we had to fold them. We had some issues like with timing and like when we were gonna pick them up. It was just a whole lot. There was a whole lot that went into last drop and we didn't even pick up the camera like at all. Like even after we launched, we are getting the shirts a little bit earlier than we were expecting. We were expecting to get them on the December 1st. Today is the 28th. So I am on my way up to Denver right now to 
get the shirts. this oh my gosh i'm freaking out i'm freaking out i'm freaking out i'm freaking out i've been waiting for this day for our christmas stuff to come in for so long we finally got some of our stuff we have two of the four crew neck designs that we submitted the other two are embroidered so we're waiting on those to be here on friday this is the first one this is like the official reveal of two of them she is so cute this is the snowflakes and oh my gosh this is called like a blue spruce color the crew neck and i i am so in love with this this one's so cute okay the other one is this crimson red this is actually what the mama design was printed on is this crimson color but i feel like since there were like pink flowers in it the pink tones like came out and made it look more pink than it is but it's actually crimson red and this one says all is calm all is bright and i am so, oh, oh my gosh i really wanted this on a crew neck we are waiting on two more designs but those are the first two of our christmas launch officially i can't believe it i think we only have about 10 of each size so we are planning on launching on monday december 4th is the day that we're planning on launching everything so Mark your calendars because there is not much inventory. If you want to grab one, December 4th is the day. I just quickly wanted to tell you guys that and let you get a little sneak peek into the new crew next. Um, but now I want to share a story because don't take the kids out often anymore. Like it's it's a lot to take all three of the kids out and I'm just like afraid of sickness at this point that I would just rather stay inside and entertain them inside than taking them out. And today I had such a bad experience and I kind of want to share about it and rant about it because I feel like I'm so not in the wrong. This lady made me feel like I was. So basically I take all three of the girls by myself to this place to play. There are parking spots that are right in front of the place that we are going in to play. I also was wanting to open up this package at the same time I got some brushes from Ulta, the Anastasia brow thing that I get for my eyebrows, and a little palette so I can do a little bit more with my eyeshadow than I normally do. Anyway, I pull up and I grab one of these parking spots that is right in front of the place we are going to go into. There are two cars right beside me and I'm in the truck with all three of the kids. The truck is not a small car, I know that. And I am very hyper aware that, that I do not park anywhere that I'm not going to fit in or that I'm not gonna be able to get my kids out of because I have car seats and I need to be able to take my kids out of the car. So I don't purposefully park somewhere that I know is too tight. Like that gives me anxiety and I just would never do that. I pull up in between these two cars. The car to my left is like a big SUV. The car to my right is like a RAV4 type looking car. I don't know what car it was, but it was kind of a little bit smaller than an SUV. And the woman in the car to my right was just like staring into my car. And immediately I just felt like just something was off. I don't know why I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. I felt like I was intruding onto something because I had pulled in between these two cars. I felt like I was, I don't know, it just felt weird. We're a little bit early. We can't go in until our time slot. I'm putting on the kid shoes, kind of turning around, helping them get their stuff on. Next thing I see is this probably upper 30s woman standing in front of my car and she's like, She's looking at me and waving at me like, I want to say a Karen, but like any type of Karen would be like, hello, like you're being stupid, like I need to talk to you, kind of personality, the way that she was waving at me. And so immediately I knew, I was like, okay, this is going to be weird. I am not a confrontational person. I will literally do everything to avoid confrontation. I was really confused. I rolled down my window. I stick my head out because she's in front of my car and I stick my head out to look around and she goes... I can't get my daughter out of the car. And so I look down at the parking spot and like back towards like her back door and my back door. And my car is like two or two plus feet away from this white line. And her car is like six inches from the line. I, I it was closer than six inches really on the like car. That. I know this one's that cute. That one's huh? so cute. So if anything, her car was pretty much on the line and my car was like far away from the line. Plenty you, of you room. You even took pictures of it. I did, but I don't want to put in like her no, car know, or anything. No, I know, but like, 
That's a good point. But you took pictures of it, like, and I saw it. Like, it, it was just a bad parking on her job. I know, right? Like, so, very, like, very clearly. Like, not even like on the fence. Like, no, homegirl just didn't know how to drive. No, like she, her entire car. Because I'll get to the point. But I eventually moved, and I was so upset. Which I'll tell the rest of the story. But I was so upset that I took a picture of her car because the side of her car that was not next to my car was like five, three. Five, to five feet away from the line and the other side of her car which was right next to mine was like right on the line anyway i took a picture and i sent it to ben like i swear i'm not wrong like i don't know what this lady's talking about so she's like i can't get my daughter out of the car and the way that she said it she was kind of like laughing at me like what are you doing you're so stupid like why did you pull up into this parking spot i've never had somebody speak to me like that before i look down and i'm like i i feel like there's plenty of room for your to get your daughter out of the car i didn't say anything but i like looked down i'm saying that in my head like, oh, and then I look back up at her. She goes, I can't get my daughter out of the car without hitting your car. Oh, like I legitimately did not know what to say because I would have felt comfortable getting the kids out of the car. I didn't think that there was an, a, a problem. I'm the one who did pull up after her, but I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't really know what to say. It's so funny because all of these situations that happen like this, I'm never there. No, I know. And I was like, if, I, if that would happen to me, I would have been like, could you look at your parking job, please? <laughs> yeah, I know. And if you still can't get your kid out, I'll happily move. Well, okay. This, this That's like the, probably the least of my worries was that interaction. Like, I really had no, no problem yeah. moving. It was not that big of a deal. So I start backing the car out. And I noticed that the woman who was to my right, who was staring at me, is now in front of my car with this other woman's other kids. And another woman it looked like three moms had come to play at this place together and all three of them are now standing in front of my car talking to each other and then looking at my car and then talking to each other and smiling smiling at me like this girl is so stupid that's the way that they were portraying themselves like bullies the behavior that they were giving off was seriously like a high school bully or like a middle school bully all three of them kind of ganged up on me and just laughed at me and watched me back up my car and then they'd talk and then they'd laugh and I was like, okay. And I also noticed that they're going into the same place as me. So I didn't want to cause any type of problem. I just backed my car out and reparked it. I literally didn't even say anything to her. I just looked down and I was like, oh, roll out my window and backed out. And then they started to talk and laugh at me and they were holding their children and looking back at me like I was gonna full force like, run the car into them. I was like, why are you guys acting like this? Like, I am just here to play with my kids. So are you. And I'm not gonna like run over your kids. I don't know what was going on. It made me feel so incredibly uncomfortable. I didn't wanna go in there anymore. And I knew that there were three of them versus one of me. And we'd obviously all seen each other. So I just felt so incredibly like frustrated and uncomfortable. I called Ben and I'm like, what do I do? He's like, do I need to come over and like be in there with you? I'm like, no, it's fine. I didn't want them to have any power over me, whether I was gonna go in there actually or not. So anyway, I don't know. It was just like, I don't take my kids out very often and I do not like confrontation. Like all I want is to get in and get out and like mind my own business. I just, it made me feel so uncomfortable. And the entire time that we were in this place playing, it's a pretty small place. Anytime my kids were near these women, they would stare at my kids and then stare at me like, why are your kids over here? I'm telling you, these women were like upper 30s. I was like, why are we acting like this? This is so, so weird to me. Such weird behavior from older women. I'm like, I would never, first of all, I don't even like confrontation so much that if somebody parked next to me and was really close to me, I would crawl into the other side of my car and get my kid out. That's how non-confrontational I am. But... I don't know, there was something about it that just made me so upset and like uncomfortable and just wanted to leave so fast. <sighs> it's making me feel better to like talk about it and hopefully I'm not overreacting to this because again, like normally I just don't even, I don't know, it was just so, so weird. They never seemed angry. They just seemed like it made them laugh that I would park in a parking spot. So anyway, this is your sign to be nice to everyone and like don't be a bully even when you're an adult like it's not it's not i don't know i'm better we're gonna move on with our day 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all the social medias down below. Make sure you mark your calendars for December 4th when we are dropping our Cozy Sun Christmas collection. And we will see you in our next video.